Because I don't think you should build anything less than with all the details that you have come up with, you and your team. I think that's very important on a place like this in Copenhagen. Klaus, you are the owner of the ground here. Three owners. One of the three owners. What was your vision for the whole place here? Because before the houses, there, it was a cherished place in Copenhagen with street food and very informal atmosphere. So what was your idea here? I think when you're building in a city like Copenhagen, you're building in a very prominent place in the center of Copenhagen. I think you have to think, first and foremost actually, that you have to build something which you can look back upon 100 years later, 200 years later maybe, and think that's still a good vision we had at that time. So I think it's been important during the whole process, first and foremost, to find someone who can do that, who can interpret that, and also that we are going to spend the money which are needed to build in the quality which a place like this deserves. And also uh, to give something back to the public with the boardwalk and the plaza in the middle and all that. I think we need to do that. And you didn't have to do that, of course. You could have built everywhere and not had, uh, have a boardwalk or a plaza. I think the municipalities in Copenhagen would have helped us a lot <laughs> to understand that that's important for in their vision, of course, as well. But I think we had it all the way, so and we had a good collaboration.